Joseph Global Institute and From Mafia Boss to the Cross to a World Healing Evangelist Crusades and Seminars brings you Honeymoon with the Holy Spirit with Dr. Bruno Cabarimo. Do you desire a romantic honeymoon adventure with the Lord? Do you desire to walk in the supernatural realm? If you do, stay tuned as Dr. Bruno, the Healing Hands, gleans from 30 years of missions and evangelism. Refresh in the river of the Holy Spirit and join us today and receive your miracle healing on Honeymoon with the Holy Spirit. Welcome. Hello, everyone. This is your host, Pastor Edmund Malapote, and my co-host is my beloved wife, Marisol Malapote, and our sister, who's going to lead us in worship, Sister Jazzo Polonia. Right now, Dr. Bruno is in his 110th mission to the nations in China with Reverend Peter. So we're here to the show, and um, of course, we want, you to, we want to welcome you to the honeymoon with the Spirit. Are you ready? So first of all, we want to worship Sister Jazzo. Would you lead us in our praise and worship? Shout of glory and honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. There is no one else like God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time, O oh Lord, that you have led us into this place, that you have given us this time to worship you, to bring forth the praise, the glory, and the honor back to you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So everyone, I'm back. Also, I came from the Philippines in the past three weeks, three weeks and now we're back, and it's we had honeymoon with the Holy Spirit back in the Philippines. And our mission is simple during the Christmas season is to lead the people to know God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus. And God is so good that we were able to share it with them. And um, today, I would like to ask my dear sister wife, Marisol, 
to share a, a word with you. So, sister, please read the scripture. It is came from 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Or do you not know that the, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Whom you have from God, you are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God with your body. Very beautiful scripture. Amen. So, as we know, you are God's chosen person. You're the chosen one. And you are his property. We are nobody else's property but God. It's not even our parents' property. It is us. You see, from the very beginning, even we were born, he has good plans for us. Amen. He has chosen for us. And do you want to have miracles, right? You want to have miracles in your life? Do you want miracles to be an everyday thing for you? It's something that shouldn't be um, peculiar to you. It should be happening to you every day. The moment you open your eyes today, the moment you have opened your lips to praise and worship Him and give Him thanks for this day, that's amazing. That's a miracle already in the making. So, brothers and sisters, I want to share to you today uh, from the book, okay, Honeymoon with the Holy Spirit with Dr. Bruno, here's how you can do what God wants you to do and then expect many, many miracles from God. So, do you want to expect that? I would like you to expect the miracles of every day. You see, the first thing we want to do is believe the truth about the devil and his purpose towards you. Of course, some of us doesn't believe that there's devils, you know. But you see, people have sicknesses or failures in life. Or even sometimes bad things happen. But why, why is that? It's not because of the people around them. It's not just because of the things or events that happen. But it is because of the work of the enemy, which is the devil. He is real. You know, first we should know that he is real. We should accept that he is real. And all the things that happen to us is because of, you know, the bad things is because of his works. Why? Because he has one purpose. He has a purpose to destroy us. It's, it's even in John 10.10. 10, and it says, the thief, which is the devil, cometh not, not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I, this is Jesus, come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. So the devil comes what? To kill, to, to steal, kill, to and steal. to destroy. Amen. So that's his purpose. But God doesn't want that to happen to us. Mm -hmm. And that is why if you even listen to that song, that song that Sister Jassel have, have sang. I believe that the angel is singing with us. And that song itself is a miracle for you. That's the source, just listening to his voice. That's not just Sister Jassel's voice. It's the voice of the Lord telling that you are his chosen one. That he comes here to bring you life. Amen. You are destined for a purpose. And that purpose is for you to be on the top and not on the bottom. Right? You will be the best of what you have if you believe in God. Amen. Second thing we, the Lord wants you to do to have this miracle, of course, is to what? To believe that you are God's property, not the devil's. Yes, even Jesus said, remember he was tempted. Jesus said, you have nothing on me. So you, as a believer of Christ, as a brother in Christ Jesus, you should tell to this devil, you have nothing in me. You can sweep away from you any circumstances that the enemy has given you right now. If you are sick, cast that out. Just sweep it away and say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed. By his stripes, you are healed. If you believe that, I believe that, you will be healed. Have faith in God. Believe, it, believe in him. He knows you more than anyone, even the specialists or the doctors, the best doctors in this world. Who created those doctors? It is God. So lean unto Him. You know, if you have cancer, you know, these are the work of the enemies, of the devil that are trying to stop you from growing. So believe in Him, just pray. Call unto Him. Even, Jesus even said that. Call unto me and I will answer you. I will listen to your call. Believe in him. Have faith. And 
Is there anything you want to say? That really touches my heart when I'm into trouble before. Like uh, four years ago, when I experienced like the devil is trying to stop us to do the ministry. This is, came from James 4, 7. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. Resist him. Mm -hmm. Show him away. That's what, the, you know, God did. Jesus did that, right? He resisted him. Whatever he offers you, remember what Jesus was, when he was tempted, he was offered three things. You know, he was tempted three times, and yet he ignored. I would just say that. Ignore him. Turn your back around, you know, not 360 degrees, but only 180. Because 360, you're going to go to the same place. Just do 180, all right? Turn your back and look forward from there. Why? Because the Lord has a promise in you. And he has good plans for you. This year, I believe, is the year of abundance. Amen. We've been prophesying and praying for your abundance. Not just for your, you know, financially, but spiritually, physically, emotionally. All the things that you've been praying for. Believe this year is the start. That's the start. So brothers and sisters, right now, there's three, right? The other one that I want to share with you, okay? Remember, believe that there's an enemy. Second, it believe that you are God's property, not the devil's property. You know, he doesn't have hold in anything on you or even anything in your life. And the third one is, who? Let me see. Oh, only two. So, believe. The second is um, believing you are God's property. So, in your life, in your life, there's only one thing that's more important other than your life. That's Jesus. Knowing Him, believing in Him. And the Holy Spirit, even though He's not present, Jesus, right now, but the Holy Spirit, whom He sent for us, is here right now. So right now, let me pray over you. In the name of Jesus, I call upon Lord, your spirit be upon us. Even the people, Lord, who are holding up all this heaviness in their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your presence be filled in their lives. Fill them, Lord God, with your love. Lord God, with your presence. In the name of Jesus. Glory, Lord. Fill them with your glory and the blessings, Lord. Favor and anointing be upon them right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Those people right now have been praying, praying for financial breakthrough. The Lord is going to send you a letter saying that you're going to be accepted in something. I don't know, it's a contract or something that you've been praying for and that will be the start of something big for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, for those people right now, that are having any problems, illness, in the name of Jesus. Lord, by them, telling them, Lord God, right now, telling the devil to get out in the name of Jesus, I cast out, I rebuke, I release them from any holds of the devil in the name of Jesus. By your power and stripe, they are all healed in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, brothers and sisters who have been praying, Repeat after me. As I pray, if you want the Holy Spirit to have the honeymoon with the Holy Spirit every single day in your life and miracles to happen to you every single day, just follow this prayer. Heavenly Father, forgive me for all the sins that I have done. As I have forgiven others who have Fallen short on me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ, who, dry, who died in the cross and resurrected for my sins, that I will have eternal life. Lord, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I love you, Jesus. Today, I reconfirm 
that I am your property and I do not belong to the enemy. Any burdens I put in your feet, anything that the enemy has tried to stop and put hindrance in my life, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Today, you're so blessed. Today, the abundance starts. Believe and have faith in God. You're God's property. No one else but God. Believe it. I believe that you're going to be healed in any circumstance that you have been going through that's bad. It's going to turn around. This year is the year of abundance. Amen. Amen and amen. And as we close, I want our dear sister Jazzle to please lead us into the worship of the Lord. So, again, brothers and sisters, honeymoon with the Holy Spirit. Please call. Uh, please call. You can call us. We thank you to the Wade TV Network with Dr. Joseph here. Please send us your, your donations, anything that could help and continue this network to reach nations. Prayer and your prayer requests, you can call us in this number that you can see. And you can email us also at ecm for him at aol.com and we would like to thank you we want to thank god for leading you to us and praying for us today and for the school uh, yeah joseph global institute if any one of you wants to get the best you know education biblical theology please call us and our number six six one two three three eight seven eight seven extension one one five, and that's six six one two three three eight seven eight seven extension one one five. So God bless you, and uh, to be pray with to Dr. Bruno that you know the mission will be accomplished. We thank you in Jesus' name, Amen.